In remote island communities in southern Bangladesh, access to sustainable livelihood activities is especially difficult for women. The Enhancing Life and Livelihoods program, supported by the PepsiCo Foundation, is changing this. From helping families garden and farm more productively, to setting up commercial production of puffed rice, a popular snack, the program builds on skills and resources that poor families have so they can better provide for themselves and their children. Enhancing life and livelihoods took Hazara's skill, making hogla mats, and helped her turn it into a profitable business. Hazara was given startup investments of leaves and training on quality production and small business management. She was able to make more products and get her business up and running. When collecting from the roadside, Hazara must wait for the leaves to dry in the sun for four to five days. But during the monsoon season, the leaves take even longer to dry. Once the leaves are dry, Hazara weaves them together to make different size household mats and bags. They sell for 10 to 50 taka, or around one US dollar. Usually, Hazara is able to sell the products directly to her neighbors and customers in the village. However, sometimes the hogla makers sell their products in the market. Hazira's granddaughter is also benefiting from another Save the Children intervention, called the Shikon School. This intervention focuses on education. <laughs> Save the Children has seen how the investment into livelihood activities for women often affects the lives of their children and grandchildren. When there is a higher household income, beneficiaries can better support their families, provide regular nutritious food, and provide the support they need for their children to attend school. <laughs> Oh, the color, the star, the star, the 